Hi, everyone. I'm here again with Nicole, the gut girl. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me. I love this topic. So everyone, we're going to talk about natural flavors. And I just think, I mean, I, I can guess what you're going to say, you know, because I mean, we just think alike, you know, but uh, natural flavors, I think it's one of the most popular things to put on grocery stores yep. in the, <laughs> I mean, it's one of the popular, most popular things to put on everything in grocery stores, everything. natural, all natural. It's like, I'll, I'll watch my language. It's like, no kidding. Yeah. It's all natural. Yeah. It came you know, from a so, natural source. <laughs> so um, let everybody have it, Nicole. Okay. So this is my huge pet peeve. So prior to being a nutritionist, I was really pretty good about everything I ate to be, to begin with. However, you know, when you see on the ingredients list, because I'm, I hammer into my clients to make sure that you're looking at the ingredient list, you know, all of us are ingrained to look at the protein, the carb, the, all that kind of stuff, but look down at your ingredient list and nine times out of 10, it's going to say natural flavors. And that is not what you think it is. And I always thought, oh, it has natural flavors. It's fine. Well, all of it comes from something natural, from a spice, from a fruit, from a juice, from an herb. But what have they done to that to put it into that product? Nine times out of 10, they have completely and utterly stripped it of its nutrients. And then they enrich it and put it back in chemically. So you're not getting what you think you're getting. So anytime I see on a label natural flavors, I just steer away from it. It is in a ton of our drinks. It is in a ton of everything to make it sweeter, but make it be able to sit on a shelf. So one of the things that I think that I was like, oh, this is so gross. So one of the things that they do, and I'm not kidding because I did my research, they, um, they use a castorium that is a secretion of an anal gland from a beaver to get vanilla natural flavor. It's so gross. <laughs> yeah, that kind of is gross. You know, <laughs> hey, everybody, do not fall for the natural title on it. Because look, it, it's so funny that the manipulation out there, it's like, you know what? A rock is natural, right? Totally. A rock. <laughs> but I'm not going to eat it. Yes. You know, I'll break my if teeth. You want to. <laughs> yeah. It's like, of course it's natural. Every, everything's natural. Yes. So. How do you get it into food though? How, what is, if, if this is a drink and it has a bunch of crap in it and stuff you can't read and then the bottom is natural flavors, you can bet it's been completely annihilated to make it taste good to get it in your drink. So just stop eating stuff like that. Yeah. And it's hard. Some, sometimes it's hard. You know, there's, there's certain products that I take, like some of my amino acid formulas. I, you know, I love amino acids, but it's, it's got some, you know, things in there for flavor that I would prefer weren't in there. Now, that's I also point. don't want it to taste gross. Right, right. The, that's so, a great point because a ton of stuff we're giving our kids in all these gummies and all that kind of stuff, the natural flavors in that, you got to think twice about what you're giving these little tiny bellies that are just forming the immunities to things. So I always look at vitamins. I'm a total vitamin snob. And if it says natural flavors, it does not come into my world. Right. And I always try to take my supplements separately, not in formulas. Right. So, or you get it with no flavor. Um, you know, a lot of things come with no flavor, sure. which is, and you can mix them in stuff, but that's why, isn't this right, Nicole? That's why we encourage people to eat whole foods. Yes. Just stop putting all the crap in. Just eat a whole food. Dr yeah. Eat whole foods and drink water and see what happens. Yes. 
see how much better your stomach feels. I mean, just the bloat alone to just eat a whole food is it'll be amazing to you. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a video on I'm going to challenge people to eat maybe three different foods and it'll be like it's, it won't be fun. I'm not saying it's fun, but <laughs> <laughs> imagine if you ate um, broccoli and chicken. And, and a little bit of olive oil. There you go. And how many calories? You can't eat 2,000 calories like that. And you're going to get enough protein. Oh, tons of it. And you're going to get enough nutrients. Yeah. I mean, that's what bodybuilders do when they're trying to get lean. The way they get their calories down is they get the fat out. Right. That's why I said, you know, you throw in some olive oil in with that to get, uh, you know, all the essential fatty acids and so on. But anyway, we're getting all sidetracked. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that one, that one will be coming. So, um, Nicole, any other last thoughts on natural flavors? I mean, you see it in the grocery store and it's almost like they want, they want you to think that it's organic right. because it says all natural. Natural is not organic, right? Not at all. And don't be fooled by that. Just put the package down. If it says natural flavors or all natural, stop, put, just stop doing the gimmicks, gimmicks. Just go for organic and a whole food. You'll be good. Yeah. And, you know, I guess even, I, I don't know, even people that know better, when it says all natural, I guess it just makes them feel a little better. Totally. Well, we're eating this all natural chicken or whatever, which, you know, all natural meat. Of course, it's all natural. And I, I guess it just makes us feel a little better yep. when it says all natural, right? Yep. But do your, do your due diligence, see what those actually mean. Yeah. Don't let the whole all natural or natural flavors get in your head because. No. Uh, I even got uh, in my head. So. <laughs> for sure. Yep. All right, Nicole. So if uh, now I know that your offer for a hundred dollars off your program, anyone who mentions that um, they've seen one of our videos, right? You give them a hundred dollars off. Um, how do they um, find you on social media? Because I know you do a lot of really good informational stuff on different channels. So how do they find you on social media? They can find me on social media, Facebook. I'm the gut girl. Um, and TikTok, I'm on the gut girl NV. Um, and then you can always reach me by email to set up an appointment. And I will give you a hundred dollars off. If you mention these videos, it's the gut girl one at gmail.com. Okay, Nicole, thanks as always for being with us. Thank you for having me.